Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about Road Architect for Unity. We're going to learn how we can create roads using this tool. It's a free tool, it's available on GitHub, and we're going to work through the install process so it, you could get it properly set up in your project, making sure you have all of the materials. It's a really powerful tool. I previously made a tutorial for this and there were a number of people who were saying they have pink materials and they couldn't figure out why. I experienced the same thing when using the GitHub version. Personally, I use the version that I purchased from the asset store about four or five years ago. I don't have that problem, but I was able to compare the two and see what the issue was. And after using the tool myself, I understand how it works by trying to move the folder and then things started breaking. That might give you an indicator as to what needs to be done. Um, if you have any experience with Unity and, and moving files and then having them break in the packages that they were originally set up for. Anyway, um, I'll explain more as I go. So go ahead and head over to github.com slash micro GSD slash road architect, select clone or download, select download zip. Also there's a YouTube channel that MicroGSD LLC has. Here you can find detailed instructions on how to actually use the tool. I'm not going to go in depth, I'm just going to show you how to get set up to use the GitHub version. Um, so once it's all downloaded, just right click on that file if you have Chrome and show it in Explorer. Drag it and drop it to your desktop. Here we can right click and extract all and what I have set up currently is an empty unity project I did bring in Gaia from the asset store so I'm going to use this to quickly generate a terrain that I can use for road architect Gaia is my favorite asset for creating terrain um, I'll go back to that in a second so you can use whatever you like. You can just use a plain terrain. Um, personally, I love this. I'm going to do a quick demo on how I use it and why I use it so you can see what my workflow is when I actually create roads. Um, this is the base foundation. So I already have Gaia imported. Like I said, you can use any terrain. It's up to you. And you could create your terrain however you like. So I will actually go over to this folder that we just extracted on our desktop. Let's actually go back to our desktop really quick. So if I close this, minimize this, let's open this folder and see what it looks like. So we have a road architect master folder with a road architect master folder in it. And then in that folder are all of the files. First thing I'll do is get rid of this .git ignore file. We don't need that in Unity. The next thing I will do is rename this subfolder to Road Architect. And then I'll drag and drop it to the desktop. So now if I refresh the desktop, you can see the original master folder is empty double click it and open it, it's empty. And now I just have a road architect folder. And if I open it, this has all of the files that I need in Unity. So I'll go back to Unity and I will right click on the assets folder and select show in Explorer. And then I'll go into the assets folder. And this is where I want to basically just drag and drop the new road architect folder that we just renamed. So now inside of our assets folder we have the road architect folder which has all of the content. I'll go ahead and close that. Pop over back to Unity and we can see Unity is loading. I'll give it a second to let it import all of the road architect content. Okay so Unity is up and running. Road architect has finished importing. I'm in the sample scene that comes with the default project. First thing I'll do is create a terrain. So I'll select 
Window, Procedural Worlds, Gaia, Show Gaia Manager. And then I will select button number one, Create Terrain and Show Stamper. This is the main reason I love Gaia. It gives you this awesome stamper tool. And pretty much uh, I just select this preview texture and I'll find a height map texture that I want to use to basically sculpt out a terrain. So let's try this one. See what it looks like. This one might be a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to use hills. And I'll adjust the height a little bit of this. And I'll adjust the ground base. Let's adjust the width to make it wider. That's a little cooler. Okay. And that's what's cool about Gaia. You, you get this stamper tool. You basically supply it with a height map and you adjust some parameters and you can create a terrain really, really quickly. So I'll just click stamp. Now if I go over to my terrain, you can see that I have that texture basically stamped into the terrain and that did a majority of the work. I don't need to sculpt it at all. The next thing I'll do is go over to the Gaia manager and click number two, create spawners. Now I have a coverage texture spawner. I'm just going to click spawn. So this coverage texture spawner basically creates a splat map and generates all of the terrain textures for us. The next thing we can do is go over to cluster tree spawner, select spawn. Now we'll get some trees spawned into our terrain. I'll do the coverage tree spawner. There we go. And coverage detail spawner. This gives us grass. So basically in about a minute, I'm able to generate a terrain, populate it with trees, grass, and get a splat map based on the height of the terrain and use that splat map to automatically generate textures based on the splat map. Okay, next thing I will do is select number three, create player post-processing effects. Select yes. There we go. Now we have basically a full scene all set up. It's all textured. It's got the grass details. It has trees. Let's build a road in here. So I'll select window, road architect, create road system. Now you're probably going to notice right away um, if you've already gone through this process and it didn't work on your own, we now have buttons properly showing up in the inspector and all of the materials are assigned. So for the most part, this tool is going to work. Um, I have my road architect system and all of the roads are a child of that. So I can select add road to create more roads. Press control Z to remove that road. First thing I'll do is select road one. And here we can see the inspector says hold control and click terrain to add nodes. So I'll hold down the control. I get this little red gizmo in the scene and I'll click a couple times. Now I have this road segment and here we can see we do have textures on it. I can select the road and change it from two to four lane. Textures are working, six lane, there we go. And that's pretty much it. So at this point, we have a road being generated on a terrain. All of the textures are properly set up and the asset appears to be working. So this is the fix for missing materials with Road Architect. The reason you had missing materials is because Road Architect, this folder, and all of its subfolders, the absolute file path of all of these files has to remain the same. So because this Road Architect folder likely 
in your project said road architect dash master all of the file paths were severed so by renaming it to road architect that fixes the path which basically lets you get all of the textures and all of the dynamically assigned materials that are required anyway thanks for checking this out if you have any other questions about the asset or if you're looking for more tutorials let me know what you're thinking and i'll try to make a tutorial for you thanks bye